Now we talk about another family of models. This is CKLS family of models. This is Chan, Caroli, Longstaff, Sanders family of models. So this is again a stochastic differential equation. You see the Brownian motion part. So this Brownian motion part always comes from a normal distribution. Mean zero, variance T. So this is just alpha one plus alpha two XT then plus alpha 3 times xt to the power of alpha 4. So this is some general model. So you have four parameters here which you are feeding in. Alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 and then alpha 4. And you are solving for xt. So let us see this in R code. So you require this package. So grid, I'm going to set a grid here. So generally if you do not set the grid, your time would be 1 by 100. So here I'm setting the grid as terminal is one and n is thousand. So the time is now is always this terminal. Divided by this n. So terminal divided by n is your time. So now in this case is one over one by thousand. Now generally what big banks do is they take uh, this t as one. What they do is they will take this t as 1 and they will repeatedly draw this Brownian motion from normal 0 1 and why they do it is that they simulate it day by day so they say that you know you are just taking the stock price counting the stock price or counting the interest rate at the end of the day so you're just counting it once every day and uh, when you're simulating something you're simulating the prices at the end of the day so you're forgetting about what happens in between the day so that is why they take it as n01. I mean, there is nothing special about it. You could say one could be one R or something. So this is a very qualitative judgment of what time is. So time is a qualitative judgment. So if you are a big bank and you want to implement this into your system, what you're going to do is you can take, you're going to take terminal as 100 and then you will also take your n as 100. So that will give you n01, but you're also doing 100 simulations. And uh, so if you want to do a thousand simulations, then you will also take the terminal as thousand and n is also thousand. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put terminal is equal to n for t to be one. So this is how you will draw from n01. So you can adjust your distribution by adjusting terminal and n, but n is also the number of simulations. So you're going to set the model. You just copy it. This is your drift part. This is alpha one plus alpha two times x. Then you have diffusion part. This is alpha three times x to the power of alpha four. Your state variable is x. Your time variable is t. You solve for x. I'm putting initial value as 0.5. You can give what you want to. We're going to simulate this model M1. This is the model M1. We set it right here. And then you have to give your input parameters. And our input parameters are alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4. So alpha 1.1, alpha 2.2, alpha 3.3, alpha 4.4. And now I'm putting sampling as grid because I'm going to sample from this particular grid. I don't want uh, the standard sample. My standard sample would have been so standard sample grid is terminal is one, standard is here and n is 100. So this is standard, but I've changed the standard so that you have a new grid. And then you can plot uh, this x. And I would advise you to make your own new models and, ma and make stories around it and uh, maybe publish it. So let us uh, run this in R. So this is in R. So we are just going to select everything here hit the run button and uh, you see the graph is most choppy because I have chosen the grid as a thousand starts from 0.5 and your terminal point is one when I mean, you can change your terminal point I mean I can change my terminal point to 10 and make this 10,000 also so let us do this now select the code hit the run button and now see your terminal point here is 10 you start at 0 you starting at 0.5 so again, uh, you know, your time difference is nothing but 10 over this 10,000. 
so you can do whatever you want to this is the way to simulate it but again as many times you simulated those many graphs you're going to get so every time you run you will get a different graph so you have to build a confidence band for it you have to do a thousand simulations and then make appropriate uh, confidence intervals out of your simulations and that i have uh, shown in one of the previous lectures